Greetings everyone and welcome to the S'mores Archive. These are just all my old videos that I took down that I am re-releasing with some slight edits here and there. I did these DHgate cheapo sneaker reviews for entertainment and educational purposes and I do not endorse the sales of any replica products whatsoever. No links to any of these items will be given since these videos were done ages ago anyways. Well, I hope you do get a kick out of my old content. Hello and welcome to the first DHgate video of 2019. Yay. I wasn't expecting this to arrive so quickly. I did order it last year, but it sort of left China four days ago and got here today. So basically it took three days to get to my country. But anywho, we're going to be talking about Yeezys today. And why? Because these are the newest fashion designer luxury shoe things that Mr. West has made with Adidas. And well, here they are in a box. I wasn't going to do a review on these, but they just look so... I mean, what can look worse than the, than the Yeezy 500s? These are just a step up from the uh, 700s. Also, I have a new camera, so I'm trying to work it. I have no idea what I'm doing. Also, i got to not stab myself this time around. So yes, this is from DH Gate, and it was 50 US, I think it was 50 US, or 48 US, with a coupon, because I'm a cheap ass. There it is there, Yeezy Boost 700 V2 US 11. Oh, okay, there's a stamp there. It's got a little sticker there. It even has a little picture, because that's what you're supposed to be getting. The garbage bag also feels like, I don't know, just weird. Maybe it's a, an old garbage bag. That would make sense. Boost 700, the sticker that I showed before. Nothing there, it's all squashed. Yeezy Boost 700 made by Adidas. And on the bottom, there is nothing. Let's hope these open up like a drawer and not just crumble apart like last time. And see if I actually get a pair of easy 700 feet. Never works, does it? <laughs> yeah, that's close enough. Holy crap. Boy, oh boy, is this going to be fun. Oh, the smell of cheapness. The smell of cheapness, as always. And also... Thanks guys, you didn't even put the tissue paper around the shoes. Thanks for protecting it. Oh, I'm throwing that box out. I've had enough of that one. Straight off the bat, I am not a fan of these shoes. Looking at these and the pictures online, they can't get any more uglier. They just look like dad shoes, and then just, 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 I don't even know what to say, honestly. Like, there's an executive meeting and Kanye's sitting in the chair, you know, right at the end of the table there and there's all these Adidas executives around there and they're like, all right, Mr. West, tell us your ideas for shoes. And he's just like, ah, uh, stripes. Okay, we'll put stripes down for you. What else do you want? Ah, uh, big. All right, well, what else do you want? Curves. All right, what else do you want? Ah, uh, curves. All right, Mr. West, we'll make your shoe for you. Ding. And that's how they make it. Basically, it's just the sole of the Wave Runner, or 700. And that's just stuck on there. And then we have a new upper, which is, why didn't they use this pattern for the Wave Runner? Why wait to the 700 V2? <sighs> Enough complaining. Let's go over the shoe and have a look and see what we have to pick at. Okay, so while on camera, it doesn't look like an all white shoe. It's basically white, cream and then sort of like yeah grayish gray 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 it's kind of gray so having a look around the shoe we have these wave patterns on the sides here which i mean they're stripes but they they look like waves you know we look the midsole is exactly the same as the 700 it looks a little bit chunkier but I'm going to compare that anyways. I will have to check if they're 3M stripes or not. That really wasn't detailed in the uh, description. I'm not too sure. And the front of the shoe looks like the normal 700. Looks basically the same. That there. They've changed this material to sort of like a knitted upper. So that looks kind of nice. And then... You know, that continues on to there, and then it continues. And then on the back here, we can see more knitting, as well as this sort of leather detailing that they've added to it. There's like leather here, leather there. This is leather, that's leather, that's leather, that's leather. It's kind of like they've got a bit of the uh, Yeezy 500 and sort of slapped that onto here as well. Kind of, sort of, maybe, I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. The tongue has a bit of cushioning to it. Not a lot though, it's got, actually got more cushioning there than it does here. There's a little strap for the shoelaces and then a little leather bit here attached to the toe box. But like all that knitting looks pretty good. I mean, it feels okay. That could be just me, but 
It looks okay. It looks okay. Uh, no Adidas on the uh, toe cap. It looks clean, okay? It looks like a clean shoe. To me, it feels like a generic shoe, and they've just sort of just plastered it together and just put a name on it and went, yeah, there you go. It's nothing special, to be honest. That's just my opinion. Also, got these blue stripes just detailed into there, just adding a bit more flair to it, I guess. I haven't looked at this tag yet. What does this tag say or do? Does that mean anything to anyone? Please let me know. I think it's got writing on the back too. Yeah, it's got a barcode. And then there's the uh, usual tag that's do not eat or something like that. Oh no, the some color migration can occur due to the nature of the material. That's good to know. So inside of the shoe what do we have in here there is the tag us 11 made in china that's different because they're usually made in vietnam aren't they huh okay 11th november 2018 so that would probably be about correct size 11 the art is ef2829 we'll have to see if that's the legit one or not Inside of the shoe is no yeezy branding i mean apart from the ones on the insole there, which I'll pull out in a second, there is no Yeezy branding on the walls of the shoe. Usually there is, like on the original release, but they've decided to take them away, maybe because no one's gonna see that it's a Yeezy inside of the shoe. I don't know. There's plenty of cushioning for your ankle here, all the support. It feels pretty good, but once again, it's just reminding me of a generic dad shoe. As I said, it's probably just me. But let's have a look at this insole. Is it removable? Yeah, it is. Ah, it's exactly like the one on the Yeezy 500s. Adidas there, then we have this red bit, then we have awful light, and a whole bunch of numbers, then we have the yellow bit, and then that's all there. You can actually see the outlines of them on there. But there is Ortholite, there is Yeezy, and there is Adidas. So all looking pretty normal. And now to inside of the shoe underneath the insole, we can see all the little holes for the boost and all that sort of stuff. But I'm kind of seeing something. Maybe I'm maybe I'm just seeing things here. Yeah? Maybe. Ah, okay. So it's a DIY kit. So basically they've went, hey, these are the shoes, but uh, you kind of have to cut your own holes because we couldn't really do it for you. So you go, you just kind of there. That works. And then you just do it to the next ones, and the next ones, and the next ones. Completely legit, makes sense. Also, I didn't see that the knitting sort of continues here. So it's kind of got a 350 upper in there, and then sort of elements from the 500, and then the 700 combined into one. Is that confusing or not? Moving on to the bottom of the shoe, we have the Adidas logo there, which looks pretty tacky. And then we see all the little bits for the boost, which are extremely, extremely hard. They're not soft. Feeling the bottom of the sole, I can tell you it is definitely grippy, that's for sure, but it is exactly the same sole as the 700s. There's nothing changed, except, um, Maybe this time the size is right. These look slightly bigger than my original 700s. That's why I have them next to me, because we're going to compare them. Also, I note about the shoelaces, they look like wires for some reason, like the inside shielding of wires. They're just used for shoelaces. They're just like, yeah, that's good enough, man. That's good enough. It's fashion. You can use wires as shoelaces. And just quickly having a look at this one, just to make sure that there's no other inconsistencies with the other shoe here. It all looks the same. Is it size 11? Yes, it is. Fantastic. We don't have two old ball shoes. Uh, they are the same size. That's fantastic. Let me go ahead and grab the 700 V1, and put them next to it, and uh, compare them. Here we go. Ta-da! I can already see a difference. These should fit me, whereas these did not. If you remember in my original video for these ones, these did not fit me. Unfortunately, they were really, really, really tight. My toe was right at the end, and yeah, these are more like nine and a halfs to tens, possibly. If we have a look at them now, I'm gonna say that these will definitely be a lot better. You can definitely see that the soles are exactly the same. They've just went bloop, bloop, and they've just taken away the crappy Sharpie colours. I mean, they're not Sharpies on the uh, legit ones, of course. So you could potentially mod it. You could put your own colourway in there if you wanted to. If you want it. I'm not saying you should. I'm just saying if you wanted to. They have changed the upper quite a bit, as you can see from the very weird sort of upper that they have here. But they still have, like, the leather materials. Yeah, so they've basically... I didn't realise that. They've basically just got this, reused that, and just put that on there. Looking at both of them, I sort of like these ones instead of these ones now. Okay, if these were in another colorway, I might like them a little bit more. Just looking back at these, the colorway of these, and then the mauve ones, or mauve, or however you pronounce it, that I looked at as well, they're just a bit of a fail. So maybe they're going to be doing something good with these ones. 
maybe, who knows. Have a look at the toe boxes here, we can see that these ones extend up quite far, whereas these only come to about here, but once again they've changed the design of the 700V2s, so I expect these to be a little bit different. The tongue is all different now, instead of just this plain ass material, they've changed it to this, it sort of feels like knit. Around to the back, we've still got the same Stormtrooper looking face there, except this one looks meaner. The back of the shoe looks mean. They've changed it up, added more cushioning. They've had the Ortholite insole instead of just the standard plain tacky insole that was on the previous ones. There's the original Yeezy printing on the side wall of the shoe of the 700 V1 and then inside of the 700 V2s they didn't have them. And the bottom of the shoes, V1 there, V2 there, exactly the same. No differences whatsoever, all looking exactly the same. Get out of the way, shoelace. Yeah, the boost feels really soft on the V1, whereas on the V2, very, very, very stiff, brittle. They did change them. Yes, they've made a considerable difference. Just like they did with the 350V1 to the 350V2, they did make a considerable difference. You know, they added the stripe and redone a few little things and stuff. And I guess they have done that with these as well. But still, these just, I don't know. They just look a little bit tacky. But then again, these look tacky as well. You know what, they all look tacky. Still, I much prefer these than the Yeezy 500s. No, I take that back. I prefer these ones over the Yeezy 500s. These ones are on par with them, I guess. Your opinion counts, people. Not my opinion, your opinion. Now, just before I move to the on-foot segment, I just want to check to see if these are 3M detailed or not. Give me a second. All right, so this is a bit of an inception moment for you guys, but uh, there's my phone in front of my camera taking a photo of the shoe, which is the shoe displayed on my phone screen, which is displayed on the camera, which is viewed on your mobile or laptop or computer. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so if I do this, you can see the 3M detailing quite nicely there. It all looks very nice. So let's have a look. Yeah, look at that. Even the laces do it. That's pretty sick. But those lines, you can see those lines aren't really straight. They're kind of a little bit all over the place. They're a bit wonky. It's kind of like, whoa, 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 didn't really get that one right, but yeah, the detailing is there, which is quite surprising. For the price, it's all there, just as I said, those lines are pretty wonky. Construction, pretty solid, doesn't feel like it's going to break anytime soon. In my opinion, I think they've done a good job on these. Look, there's not a lot of detail in the shoe, it's just really a plain upper with a lot of 3M detailing and the leather sort of bits overlapped here and there, like on the 500s. So there's not a lot of detail that they can really stuff up except for that line work. That's pretty much the only thing that I'm seeing here. I'm gonna see what they look like on foot. Conclude this video because really wanna see what these are gonna look like on foot. For God's sake, I'm 26 and I already feel like a father if I'm gonna wear these. Anyways, Time to try these dad shoes on. So I noticed this while trying them on, is that this little bit here, see how this one is a little bit sort of like a stuffed up Nike swoosh, and this one's kind of a little bit evened on the toe box there. That was one thing I sort of did notice that was a little bit off, but otherwise everything else looked pretty good to me. Just for the lols before I actually do a proper on foot segment. I feel like a dad now. At least they fit me which is good, but my god, they're so weird. <laughs> they're so weird. Anyways, without further ado, let's jump on the off-foot segment. All right, so here are the static Yeezys on foot. I gotta say my opinion about these shoes has completely changed from the first look. Once I actually saw these for the first time, I thought to myself, nah, way too ugly and generic, and I wasn't gonna review them. But I sort of have a soft spot for these shoes now and prefer these over the original 700 V1s. Comparing these to the Morv or Malv or whatever, and Wave Runner Kicks, the Static just has more going for it, and it's a shame that this wasn't the version one, as I think it would have sold a lot better and wouldn't have received much criticism. Yes, they do look like generic dad shoes, and you can't really tell that they are a Yeezy branded shoe, but it beats the strange colorway on the originals. Otherwise, super comfortable to wear, absolutely true to size, plenty of grip, and the cushioning support is amazing. You can see in the video, I haven't quite tightened them up yet because I was slipping the shoes on and off, but they feel perfect just the way they are. Even though the boost felt hard, it seems to be doing a good job, and I had no problems walking around for a few minutes. And maybe to clarify, I think if these were in a black and grey colour scheme, I would appreciate these even more. Okay, and that is the on-foot segment for these done. I kind of like them now. <laughs> Which is super strange, because at first I'm like, they're weird, and now you just sort of go, hey, I kind of like these. 
honestly, you could just go to Kmart or, you know, any of the cheapo ones and buy a pair of shoes that kind of look like this. If you didn't know this was a Yeezy, you would just assume that they're just cheapo generic ones, but they are comfy. These do improve a lot of the flaws of this. I just, I don't know. The 700 V1s were a little ambitious, but then the 500s were a little ambitious too. I'm picking on Yeezys today. Is this pick on Yeezy day? Probably it is. Well, I don't really know how many people I'm going to see wearing these out and about. If there's another colorway, I reckon... A lot of people will probably go for that. At this time, I don't know if there is another colorway. I think Static is the only one because I don't do my research, so that's my fault. That wraps up this video of a DHgate video that's probably went for about 20 minutes now, but at least I got to try out my new camera. I hope I didn't stuff anything up. I have probably stuffed up a number of things, so I do apologize. Uh, I hope this review was entertaining, and once again, I only do this for entertainment sort of stuff. It's fun to just grab a pair of shoes, pick on them, and be like, hey, look, these cheapy things that I picked up. That's basically it. That's what I'm doing here. Nothing really else to it. I enjoy doing this. Yeah, so hopefully this is the start of 2019 DHgate stuff. I want wonder what else is coming soon. I'm not giving you any hints. Stay tuned, because there will be some more DHgate stuff coming that you probably didn't ask for, but that's okay. Thumbs up to these, I would say. They are comfortable. They do fit me. I'm happy with them. Take care, everyone. Be good people, and I'll see you in the next video, whatever that may be. Probably shoes. Most likely. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you made it to the end, you got through some really cringy old s'mores. If you liked it though, leave a like. If not, then feel free to dislike. I'll see you in the next one.